sun activation <laughs> and smoke activation coming up shortly. Oh my goodness, how are you guys? Are you guys having like the best day ever? Man, I don't know. I think life responds to you based on your attitude. So, you know, like for me, it's like if you don't like what's going on, then maybe take a moment to sit with yourself and think, hmm, how am I participating in this? You know, what is my attitude? You know, because you can change it at any time. You can change the way you view things at any time. And that is your power. You know, I think we fail to acknowledge, acknowledge that we hold that kind of power. You know, you can't control life and you can't control people and you can't control events, you know, but you can certainly control your response and how you perceive things. 100%. You know, are you looking at life through um, the perspective of the glass half full or half empty? Maybe the glass doesn't even exist, you know? <laughs> but how are you viewing life? <clears throat> we have this choice every moment, every day, every, every moment. <laughs> yeah, seriously, you wake up in the morning, it's like, okay, am I going to have a good day or am I going to have a horrible day? Like, I get to choose, you know? Um, yeah, you know, things come up, things occur. Um, that people treat us how they're feeling, you know, but that has nothing to do with you. It's not your responsibility. Your responsibility is to yourself, you know, and your responsibility is to ensure that you're happy and you're balanced and you're in a peaceful state of mind. And when you're in that place within yourself and you're completely grounded in that energy, in your energy, in your energy. Um, you just, everything else is just the weather, you know, like the people, um, events, it's just weather and you're just watching it. You're not responding to it. You're just watching it. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice, what's going on? Who knows? Um, today's video, I wanted to make a video on um, a couple of things. Actually, I had like more than a couple of things I wanted to talk about. One of the things I wanted to talk about were my toxic habits. Um, the second thing I wanted to talk about was like, you shouldn't have to force anything. You know, seriously. If it's not meant for you, like doesn't matter how much effort you put towards a particular idea, concept, or anything. <laughs> it's not going to work out. You know, I mean, it doesn't hurt to try, you know, but I feel like in the trying, like, you're just kind of like proving to yourself or, tr or I want to say like maybe convincing yourself why something wasn't meant to work out it's, if you have to apply so much effort you know that's just like a telltale sign that that's not for you you know I feel like also when you like try to force things into place um you're probably operating from a place of like ego you know like you're trying to prove something like I can do this like if I try harder if I go harder if I you know expand all this energy and just keep going and doing and persisting you know i'm going to prove to myself and to others that you know this is possible when in actuality you're just proving you're setting yourself up for failure i mean i want to say maybe momentarily it may seem like it's working out but in the long run if it's not meant for you it's just going to fall away 
And that's the thing, like some things are meant for you temporarily, you know, it's not meant for you in a long-term way, I want to say. So yeah, like when things fall apart, like just let them, let it, <laughs> let it fall apart, you know, and then just sit, sit by calmly and the things that are meant for you absolutely gravitate to you, especially when you release yourself from like fear and worry and um, expectations, you know. Also, yeah, that's another thing. I think people try to force things into place because they feel fear, lack, you know, it's just like, well, I don't have something, so I need to like force something into place, you know, instead of trusting and allowing and being grateful for what's in front of you, you know, and I think, um, I don't know. For me, it's like, I'm a curious cat. So it's like, I'm going to, I'm going to definitely try <laughs> and experiment just to see the outcome, just to like experience the whole process of the effort and the falling apart. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> doesn't mean try harder. It doesn't mean to like keep going guys sometimes you gotta throw in the towel people don't teach you that i feel like society has taught you to just you're you need to keep going and you need to keep doing and no like they haven't taught you like sometimes things aren't meant to work out sometimes things aren't meant for you sometimes you know you just need to the best the best method is to just lay back throw in the towel and just surrender you yeah, know just surrender <laughs> the idea, the concept, the expectations, and just relax. That's why a lot of people's nervous systems are like, I want to say on overdrive. It's just because we've been like constantly being like almost like conditioned to like always be on edge, always be tense, you know? That's why, like, relaxation is so important. The balance point. <laughs> um, what else was I going to talk about? Oh, when it comes to, like, love. I think love is, like, the highest frequency that we can experience and gift to ourselves and others. But what kind of love? What is the quality of the love, you know? Um, I've noted that, like, if it's unhealthy, then that's when you kind of, like, it becomes poisonous, you know? But we're calling it love. Especially, like, um, obsess obsessive love, you know, where it's just like you're super codependent on someone else to, like, make you feel better, you know? When you're sacrificing yourself for love I don't think I don't think love sacrifices you know life love is life you know it'll bring life it'll bring energy it'll bring like almost like a uplifting kind of like vibe to a situation to a relationship to a place to a space it doesn't suppress, it doesn't hold you down, it doesn't make you feel less than, it's, it's revitalizing, that's what love is, it, up, it uplifts, you know, so if you are experiencing something and it's not doing those things, then that's not really love, you know, that's like, your idea of love but it's probably really unhealthy and it's probably not love dude because love does not suppress or take you know it fuels it feeds it brings life you know it enhances so people who are like in destructive relationships and they're calling that love really <laughs> yeah that's a really distorted way of seeing and being you know let's drop a word let's drop the word love 
and like let that be the salve or the excuse to keep something toxic together that doesn't make sense which goes into my toxic habit guys my toxic habit was um sac sacrificing myself my toxic habit was um helping people who didn't want to be helped my toxic habit was um trying to help people who didn't think they had problems you know it's like they don't think they have a problem then you can't convince them otherwise and not only that it's just like do people really need help or do they just need to go through life to learn lessons so that they can come to conclusions on their own you know my toxic habits were trying to be a savior to people who don't want to be saved and these are you know things that we should think about but yeah um i don't know if you took anything away from this video but i would love to um, thank you for stopping by, um, for taking a moment out of your busy day to watch this video. Um, take care of yourself, you know, and be present because that's where all the magic happens. You know, it's not in the future, it's not in the past, it's right here, right now. Stay blessed. Have a beautiful day, an amazing life. Till next time, see you later.